Good morning. Welcome to an online office of commendation. It's from coming to you from St. Andrew's Anglican Church, Locks Road, Dartmouth. Uh, congregational responses are marked in the bold face type. Let us pray. O oh God, you who are the glorious Lord of life, of death, of resurrection, we ask you in, your, in the name of your Son, who is the Prince of Peace, make us mindful of our eternal presence of life in the midst of shock and grief. We lift before you all affected by the mass shooting in our province, the dead, the wounded, all who know and love the victims, the RCMP and all first responders, all government leaders. Keep our communities already reeling from the reality and the shock of COVID-19 safe. Draw us ever closer together. May we be a continuing source of comfort and care to one another. And we pray this in the name of the Holy One who enters into fearful hurting lives. The one who says, peace be with you, my peace I give you. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster and they're going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace, for though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you during the day, nor the moon by night shall preserve you from all evil it is he who shall keep you safe the Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore amen a reading from the gospel of John when Jesus arrived he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days now, Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I've often used this reading in funerals I've conducted over the years, usually prefacing it by saying something like, I believe that this is a perfect reading for us to consider at a time like this. Why? Well, in many ways, this reading speaks to our human response as a society to death. 
people gather together. People mourn together. Members of the same family often have differing reactions and responses. And we add to this the, the Christian components. God, Jesus, resurrection, heaven, and again, there are in reactions and responses to the death of a loved one or someone unknown to us personally. All of this applies to our situation in Nova Scotia this past week. Except for one thing. We cannot be together in the physical sense. 22 gun-related deaths, 16 deaths due to the COVID-19 virus, 38 families, their extended families, and who knows how many communities, first responders and their families, frontline workers and their families, friends and neighbors, the province as a whole, who cannot be physically together to grieve, to offer, to find comfort, to share a hug or a gentle pat on the shoulder, or to whisper words of comfort and support to one another, or simply with tears in our eyes and love in our hearts, to gather together as a visible sign of silent solidarity in this terrible time. And yet, here we are. We have found a way to gather. We have found a way to pray together. We have found a way to give thanks for the lives of 38 of our brothers and sisters taken from us by an act of madness and 16 taken from us through the onslaught of a terrible virus. All over the province today, we're using the technological means available to us to gather when we cannot gather and to reach out and touch one another when we must not violate the 11th commandment of social distancing. We're using many different approaches, but everywhere the intent is the same. To give thanks for lives lost, to support those who have lost loved ones, to give and to find comfort and strength in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are a resurrection people. All of the elements found in the gospel reading are here today with us as well. The death of a loved one, gathering to support one another, a multiplicity of reactions to the situation at hand. Mary wants to be by herself. Martha is not pleased, as the text of the original Greek makes abundantly clear. Martha is ready to pick a fight with Jesus. When he speaks about Lazarus' resurrection, she practically hisses, Yeah, I know that'll happen in the future. The subtext is that she wants something right there and then. To put modern words in an ancient mouth, help me. I don't need doctrine or dogma right now. Just help me. The same I expect for most of us today. Well, how's this then? Jesus is every bit as present to us as he was to Martha and Mary. The love of Jesus can never be constrained by social distancing or internet bandwidth. Jesus said to Mary, Martha, Jesus says to us, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. And then these four little words do you believe this. 
if you can say, as did Martha, yes, Lord, I believe, then the good news, Jesus is here. If you cannot at this time, for whatever reason, speak these words, the even better news, Jesus is here, patiently waiting. My brothers and sisters, this is the third Sunday of Easter, and Christ is still risen, to which we say, Alleluia. Amen. On this day the Lord has made, let us give God the glory and pray for the people he has redeemed, that those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. That those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. That you will have mercy on your people for whom your son laid down his life. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. That you will bring healing and wholeness to people and nations and have pity on those torn apart by division. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. That you will look in mercy upon all who suffer and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy that you will bring comfort to the dying and gladden their hearts with the power of your glory. Lord, have mercy. That you will give rest to the departed and bring them with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. As we rejoice in the triumph of the cross, we pray that the whole creation may find fulfillment in the eternal kingdom of God. Father of all, we pray to you for those we love, but see no longer. Grant them your peace. Let light perpetual shine upon them. And in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of your perfect will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the departed. Go forth upon your journey from this world, O Christian souls. In the name of God the Father who created you, in the name of Jesus Christ who suffered for you, in the name of the Holy Spirit who strengthens you, may your rest this day be in peace, in your dwelling place forevermore, in the paradise of God. Amen. We pray for those who are dying. May Christ, who was crucified for you, take you into his kingdom. May Christ, the good shepherd, give you a place within his flock. May Christ forgive you your sins and keep you among his people. 
May Christ give you rest in the land of the living and open for you the gates of paradise. May he receive you as a citizen of the kingdom and grant you forgiveness of your sins, for you were his friend. Amen. Amen. We pray for those who mourn. As they experience the pain of loss and the insecurity of moving on, may they also experience the blessing of inner growth. May they they know know that God God goes goes with them. them. As they walk through the good times and the bad, may they never lose sight of the shelter of God's loving arms. May they they know know that that God God goes goes with them. them. As they ponder situations forced upon them by outside circumstance and grieve over their great losses, may the peace of Christ reign in their hearts. May they know that God goes with them. We who are severely tested by the trials of our neighbors, pray for ourselves. We praise and thank you, God of the journey, knowing that you are always our faithful companion on the way. Shelter and protect us from all harm and anxiety. Grant us the courage to meet the future and grace to let go as we move towards new life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Heavenly Father, into whose hands Jesus Christ commended his spirit at the last hour, into those same hands we now commend your servants taken from us, that death may be for them the gate to life and eternal fellowship with you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of Christ reign in our hearts, and may we remember that God goes with us and that we go with God. Alleluia. Alleluia and Amen. Amen.